and welcome to project 64 of this course so in this video we are going to be creating this random gradient generated by just using html css and javascript so now let's suppose if i just click on this random so it will now gives us random uh, linear gradient right here okay so if you just click on this color so we can also change the color and we can also create or custom linear gradient right here okay so just uh change it a bit it's kind of a horrible linear gradient but anyways and if you just click on this random button certain log uses random linear gradients okay so this is what we are going to be building in this project so without wasting any further time now let's jump right into our code editor and write our code so to do that first of all let me just create a folder given name of like 064 and it will be now equals to gradient generator Okay, inside this gradient generator folder we are going to be creating three files the first one will be index.html the second one will be just style.css and now the third one will be just app.js for javascript now let me just make that a bit bigger so that we can see everything a bit bigger so now let me just write a doc time html change the title to like gradient generator and now let's just link it with or css and also with or javascript now let me just hide this uh, metadata from there let me just hide that come on and here we are going to be just using a section and inside this section we are going to be just writing a div with a class of card for container and also give my id of like gradient of con like gradient container inside there let's just create our container so, so now let me just write a con in there as well and here now let me just put my input there and it will be now set to color and now the classes will be like colors and then c1 duplicated and then it will be c2 and everything is working the way we expect him to work and now finally let's just add our br in there and now let's just add our button with the class of like random color button and now inside there we are going to be just writing like a random and save it and this is going to be it for html okay so first of all we have a section then we have a container and we also give an id of like gradient and gradient container and inside there we have another container inside there we have the, just this two input box right there and then we just provide our break in there and finally we have just this button right here so now let's just right click on it and open with a live server so this is how it looks like right now the next thing which you have to do is to just jump right into a css so i'm going to just select my body display will be just flex and then justify will be just center save it and everything is center now let's just get our section and then provide a margin of um, 10 vh and 10 vw for viewport height and width display will be totally flex flex direction will be now just set to row okay so this is how it looks like now let's just get or can't so con will be right here which is this one right here and also that one let me just provide a width of like uh, 40 viewport width and now let's just add a border two pixels or a teal maybe all right so this is how it looks like right now so now let me just get my color you know what? i'm going to remove this uh, from there so now let me just get these colors which is this one okay so i'm going to just write like colors and inside these colors we are going to be just removing this outline of none and also we want to just remove a border and finally let's just provide a width of 100 pixel and also the height will be 100 pixels so once we save it and this is how it looks like okay so that's then now the next thing which we have to do is to get our button right here okay so now let me just get my button and here i'm going to just put a margin top to it like 20 pixel and now let's just add our padding of 10 pixel top and bottom and 20 pixel to left and right and margin left will be come on margin left will be just like um three rims would be fine and now let's just write a cursor or pointer and this is how our button is looking like right now okay so that's that now let's jump right into our javascript and provide our interactivity so i'm gonna need to get all of the stuff which we wrote inside this html not all of them but a few of them so we have a color one first of all duplicate and then document.create selector and now let's just select our c1 duplicate then we have c2 for color 2 now let's just get our gradient count or container and we'll be now equals to document.query selector and now let's just provide this pound symbol and gradient container let me just make sure that we selected that oh you know what i'm going to leave it right now now let's just finally get our button so now let me just write a document.query selector of this um random color button okay so that's that i'm going to first of all create a function 
and give a name of like uh, make color so this function allows us to just make a color so now let's just write a random uh, color right here and it will be now equals to like mat.floor and now inside there we are going to be just getting a random number each time okay so now let's just divide there by like 16 and then 777215 okay and now let's just write a two string on it and now let's just write a 16 okay so then finally we have to just return uh or random color okay so this will be in charge this function will be in charge for just getting a random color okay you know what um let me just call that so that we can say like const res and when i go to like my color and now let's just log this rest to the console 7 and now let's just open so here you can see it will now gives us this random color if i just refresh my browser so here you can see it will now just gives us different colors each time we once we refresh our browser okay now let me just remove this coding from here now the next thing which we have to do is to just generate our gradient so for that we are going to be writing or um let me just create a function with the with the name of like generate gradient and inside this function we are going to be writing our color one dot value value and it will be now equals to this pound symbol and now we want to just attach our make color right here okay so now let's just duplicate that and also attach that with this color too as well and finally we are going to be just rendering that by just using our gradient container dot style dot come on style and then background or of just background will be fine because we're rendering a, not a color but a linear gradient so now let me just write a linear gradient and it will be now equals to just this color one dot value and let me just hit a comma in there and also let me just uh, render the other gradient color so i'm gonna write like uh, color two and then just write a value in there and now let me just zoom out of it okay so that we can see everything a bit better so once we sell our file we cannot see that because we have to attach this function to some sort of event listener so finally let's just create our function with um, the name of like set gradient and now let's just write like gradient count and now let's just change the style of background and now it will be equals to this linear um linear come on linear gradient okay and from now equals to just color one dot value comma and then just render or color to color two and dot value okay so that's that so now once we save it and now i'm gonna zoom out of it so it will be color okay so now we are good to go so now we successfully create this function right here so now let's just attach that with our uh, classes or colors and stuff so now let, let me just write a document dot body dot add event listener and once our body loads so then you want to just call this function which is like generate gradient okay so it will now first of all gives us some sort of gradient and now let's just write color one and now attach or event listener of input let me just come on you don't want that and now let's just write input in there here now let me just pass my set gradient and that's going to be there now let's just duplicate it and now set gradient and for the two as well now finally let's just attach this event listener to our button so once we click on it so we want to just generate a gradient so once we save our file okay so this is how everything should look shouldn't have to look like that i guess i messed up something let me just check there html i knew i messed up something so i'm gonna just remove this uh dip from there and i'm gonna paste it in here so once we save it and this is how it should look like okay we didn't style our button i don't know why it's not working i guess we didn't attach any color to it anyhow so if you just click on it so anytime we click on this button like this button which we selected right here so it will just um, generate a new gradient so what is a generate gradient so once we go there so it will now just generate a gradient for us okay so if you just click on that so anytime it will just generate our gradient so if you just click on the first color and if you just change this one to something so it will also change it right here okay and if you just change this gradient and now this one will be the second color right here so if you just change this one to like blue and this is how it works right here so if you want to copy them so this one will be the first value and you can also change it with this hexadecimal if you want to you can also change it with this rgb 
and HSL if you want and now you are free to work with there okay so now we are just totally done with our project and it's quite a simple project but a lot of uh, DOM manipulation happens in here so that's why I want to put this project in this course so we are done with this project and I guess that was about today's video and I'll see you in the next video bye bye